welcome to my next video. This is Mr. Fogelson here saying practice what you preach, practice what you teach. All right, um, we're in Pixel Toolbox. I'm going to start getting a little bit more complicated in my um, animations just so you can see kind of the potential of Pixel Toolbox and how awesome it can be for your game frame. Uh, all right, so taking a look, I'm in Pixel Toolbox. I'm going to go ahead and go to the Dancing Ant Selection tool, which is right here. This is the marquee move. It helps move tools. And I'm just going to go to this box and just drag kind of a box around it. All right, and I want to move it down, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit the down arrow on my keyboard. And I'm going to do a Save As uh, after we click out of this Dancing Ants. Save As. And then I'm going to scroll down just to make sure I know which number I'm on, and we're going to make sure it's 11. We don't want to skip over any numbers. Really important. Remember, we have to start off with zero. We're putting in that folder that's not no spaces, and also less is more. We don't want a buggy. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save, and I saved it in there. And then I'm going to go ahead and go back to the Dancing Ants, which I'm in, and I'm going to go ahead and select it again. And I'm going to use the left arrow key on my keyboard, um, save as, uh, click the Dancing Ants to get out of that, save as. Let's call it number 12, I believe. Yep. 12, save, and we can kind of get the idea in regards to what I'm doing here. I'm going to go ahead and then move this and hit the up arrow, save as, get the dancing ants thing, save as, number 13. I always double check to make sure which number I have. I have a, I have a bad memory, have I told you that? All right, um, selecting it with the dancing ants, use the right arrow, click off that dancing ants, save as, scroll down, 14. 14. Okay, there we go. Save. All right, so now the next animation I want to do to make it kind of cool, let's see what we got going on here um, with the pencil tool. And let's try to actually let's use the eraser tool. I think this should be kind of cool. Um, and let's see what happens if we make this eraser tool smaller so we can click and hold and make this one pixel. And I'm just going to go ahead and take away one pixel and save as. Let's call it. Um, 15, oops, that's 14, <laughs> 15, just making sure you're paying attention, hit save, and then I'm going to make it bigger, so let's make it the second pixel here, and whoa, that's too big, so let's go small, second pixel, too big still, maybe it's just the same on all, so let's just do that, okay, bam, and then save as, and let's call this number, I think it's 16, yep, 16, I have a bad memory, have I told you that, alright, just heads up, just in case, save, and then um, I'm going to go ahead and erase this chunk, save as to kind of give it a pattern, scroll down, number 17, I just do that just a little just in case. Um, let's go ahead and go over here and click, save as, give it a number 18, 18, save, and then I'm going to go ahead and click here, save as, and remember, each time you make a change, you have to save it, okay? And you don't want any gaps, kind of like a flip book, you don't want any gaps, um, I'm going to hit save. Um, and we've got it kind of all set up. Um, I want to do one more thing with the, the bucket tool because I really like that tool. Um, we can do more than just one thing. I'm going to make it darker here by just clicking here. Do a save as. Let's call it number 20. Okay, save. Let's click here. Save as. I think it's 21. Let's double check. 21. Save. Oops. Excellent. I did something there. Hit Control Z to undo. Phew! Um, click here. Now, just a heads up, Control z only works one in the one history, so don't do a bunch of stuff, and they'll be like, whoops, I forgot to save it, because Control z only works once in the history. So if you do two things and you want to get back to the first thing, you got problems. All right, 22, save, and then the last one, save as, 23, and hit save, and then let's go ahead and... Um, do the work with the background. I really like the background, how you can manipulate it. Really kind of cool. I'm learning stuff as we're going around with this. Um, I'm going to go orange. Orange, you're glad I'm going orange. All right, make sure you're in the background. Here, click. Okay, save as um, 24. And then uh, save. If you ever watch that show 24, it's kind of creepy, but that's uh, with Kiefer Sutherland back in the day. Um, and then I'm going to go, uh, we could go Colors of the Rainbow, Roy G. Biv. So Roy, yellow. Um, Go ahead and click here, and then bam, save as, um, give it a number 25, and then Roy G, 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 uh, G, save as, and then we missed the red, so we'll have to go back to the red and the loop. 26, save. Now notice I can't go back to the red on the numbers, otherwise it's a little big confusion. Uh, we could do that. Let's maybe go with the red. Watch what happens if you want to change it out of place. Save as. And what I do is I usually just see where I am.